Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about Euro and Saffron Olive makes a very interesting and compelling argument, but I would make the argument even more that this card will be banned. So Euro is up to $60, currently the most played creature in Standard, 49% of decks, and Modern, 25%, after watching Oko drop to $15 after $65 pre-banning, I'd sell or trade extra copies just to be safe. I'm surprised there haven't been more calls for a Euro ban already. Now, the issue is actually Euro is not the card, it's the deck. Tamer Reclamation, that deck is still dominant and the problem for Magic the Gathering is that deck doesn't use any cards from Core 2021. The reason that's relevant is they are trying to sell Core 2021. It's part of the reason they had to ban Oko was if they had, if Oko was still legal, there would be no reason to use any cards um, in Ikoria. There would be no reason to not play the Oko deck, and a lot of the colors would be completely irrelevant because Simic would, some type of Simic, maybe with a a splash of one, another, a third color would be the most dominant deck. This card, I fully believe, will get banned. And it's just, it's in 50% of all decks. It's a two color card, mind you. Enemy colors, by the way. And 50% of all standard decks, 25% of all modern decks. That's a insane amount of decks the card is in. But more to the point, this card is preventing Core 2021 from selling as much as it would because it's dampening the cards in that set. It's why would you need to buy a Core 2021 box when there's nothing in it that can be played in the number one deck? The most dominant deck does not need a single card in Core 2021. So if you're interested in buying or singles, or maybe a box. You now, buying boxes is not a great idea anyway, but the expected value of the box core 2021 is low. Collector's box is always kind of weird because, again, the things in them are a little different from a regular booster box. But the regular booster box is not going well, and because there's no cards that can be played. Simply said that standard is a... I mean, yes, you have... Cruel Tutor, which is, you have cards, a few cards will be played in EDH and Eternal, but the large majority of these cards printed for in a standard set, especially a core set, are meant to be played in the core set. So when you talk about um, what's happening right now, it's, it's quite fascinating because there are decks um, like the Tamer Reclamation deck that do not play any M21 cards. And you can win the standard challenge not adding a single card into it. And that's very bad to sell Core 2021, either a Magic Online or... MTG Arena is a little weirder because it has a wild card, so you don't really need to open packs. If someone is physically going out to buy a box right now, they're not going to buy Core 2021 specifically because none of the cards are useful. And the top decks are the top deck. Do I believe Euro will get banned similar to Oko? Yes. Because it's going to be a long time. We know that Ravnica is rotating out. But the card doesn't get that much weaker, to be honest with you. After rotation, when the pool gets more constricted, all the decks get weaker because they theoretically all lose shock lands and they lose pieces that they really would want. But this is a big problem for Wizards of the Coast. This, this card is too powerful right now, and it's showing the same amount of numbers. It's actually showing better numbers than Oko. 50% of all standard decks play it. And they play it as four elves, right? And 25% of all modern decks play it, and they play it as four elves. Um, this card is 
a $60 card in standard is really rare to see because that's a power level that you, I mean, you look at the power level and you say, wow, that's, um, and if you've ever played it, you know why it's difficult to deal with. You get your land, you get your free life, that's all good. It might trigger some abilities. It's a pretty big creature. Even if it dies, it might trigger an ability when it goes to the graveyard. And then for the low cost of two green and two blue, you get it back. Because you're going to mill. I mean, there's so many cards that mill right now. Mill yourself and Fable Passage and so on that it's almost impossible for you not to play it a second time around. And then you get a 6-6 six, six creature for four mana and the extra land, the extra land drop, the card, and the free life again. That's really on a different power level. I mean, it's the repeat effect. And if they kill it, and you still have cards in your graveyard, you can do it again and again. Um, I like playing with Tamio. Tamio is like overall not a great card, but because it mills so much, like you can definitely mill uh, one of these cards in your graveyard, and then you have enough cards. And then you play it. <laughs> it's pretty much game over. Bye, guys.